Paul Verity. I'm going to be doing a quick little double or nothing uh, review. So uh, on May 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, AEW or All Elite Wrestling presented a pay-per-view called Double or Nothing. Uh, it featured some great acts that will whose matches will be going over. It was the first pay-per-view ever for this new wrestling company. And the first steps, one might even say, towards the future of professional wrestling. Uh, okay, so let's get into it. Uh, to start things off, the uh, <coughs> original advertisement for the card did feature uh, Puck, but that had to be cancelled. So, that was unfortunate. But they did do a good job with all the rest of the stuff. Uh, the first match on the cards, Kip Sabian versus Sammy Guevara. I really liked uh, Sammy Guevara's heel persona. I feel like uh, both guys were really athletic and had a great match. Uh, I feel like it was about 10 minutes long, good pace, good character, very smooth wrestling between both these guys. Uh, great showcase match for the two young guys. Moving on a little further into the card. Uh, we have SCU versus Stronghearts. Uh, Stronghearts are based out of a partnership promotion of some sort in China. SCU are our longtime veterans. Christopher Daniels, uh, Scorpio Sky, you know. Christopher Daniels, the fallen angel himself. It, just amazing, good work at, from all guys involved. And they, of course, go over. Uh, both teams coming out looking great. Moving on, SCU, that is, wins. Uh, we have Kylie Ray, now Rose, and Britt Baker. Uh, Brandy Rhodes comes out and makes a announcement before the beginning of the match. Uh, it's teased that she might be entering, but what she actually does is announce that Awesome Colin is joining the match. Uh, it's a, great, a bit of a schmoz, but, you know, there's some good spots uh, with great visuals. And I really like when Kylie Ray came back showing some fight and backbone. That's very refreshing for a babyface wrestler. Uh, I feel like it was the wrong decision to have Britt Baker win, but uh, Kylie Ray showed a lot of potential. Britt Baker, of course, looks great. Did everything correctly, of course, so she wins. Um, after that, we had the best friends, Chucky e. T and Trent DB versus Angelico and Jack Evans. Very short to the point, excellent tag team wrestling. Uh, Angelico and Evans, I think, steal the show in this match. Very decent match with a great finish. Um, after that, the best friends uh, win in that, by the way. And the next match on the card is the women's six-woman tag match featuring the Japanese talent. Uh, Hikaru Shida, Riho Abe, Ryo Mizunami, Aha Khan, and Yuka Sakazaki, and Emi Sakura. Uh, great spots from all the ladies here. Really enjoyable and fun match. Really let them breathe, I felt. Uh, it was a great exhibition showing off both the Japanese Joshi and Strong style from the women workers, and I feel like it was a, just a general good match and enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, Shida, Abe, and Mizunami do take the win. Uh, after that, this is one of the, uh, what I would call main events of the card. Uh, it's Cody Rhodes versus Dustin Rhodes, brother versus brother. Brutal is all I can say. Uh, it's a match everyone should watch. It's an amazing story. I literally shed tears at the story. Uh, the match stole the show, in my opinion. And Cody defeated his brother. And that's all I'm going to say, because I think the rest needs to be seen. After that, we had the AEW title presentation. It's kind of a weird, discombobulated segment. I did enjoy the MJF promo. Uh, but things kind of just got weird towards the end, but I know what they're doing. They're trying to introduce their players. They're trying to show who the main eventers are, who could possibly compete for this title. I did like that. The title looks amazing. Having Bret Hart come out and present it is great. I would have liked a little shout out to Owen Hart, considering the date. Uh, I just don't know if that was just running long time or something, but they did close out and get through it quickly. The Young Bucks then faced the Lucha Brothers for the AAA tag team titles. Uh, it was a great match in the traditional Young Bucks style. The Witch Brothers continuously were popping the crowd. Amazing wrestling, all around fun match. Penta, Sarah M, and Phoenix, Ray Phoenix, have the it factor. Uh, 
they are going to be back. They're going to be doing great things in the future in the United States. Look forward to it. The Young Bucks do retain in a great match. Uh, this leads me into the main event, which is Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega. And my opinion of this match is like it was a really good matchup between two guys who knew how to work together. Uh, they they seemed to get along, Joe, just fine. There wasn't a lot of problems. And then as the match progressed, it kind of like started breaking down. But I feel like this was just the idea, of like a realistic portrayal of like what would happen over time in a match. Uh, so I'm giving a lot of credit to the guys here. Oh, overall, the match was good. I think the Bros and Note presentation was a great idea. Uh, it's really shoot and really sets up the finish, in my opinion. I'm not going to say much more than that. Uh, I do have to say Chris Jericho is the greatest wrestler of all time. And, man, just the way they closed out this show uh, with Mox coming out, doing a little number on Jericho, giving the beat down to Kenny Omega, setting up the future of the feud. Uh, I just, this is how you create a star, ladies and gentlemen. You bring in some serious talent and you put them over. 